How to make realistic looking smoke and scratch. Also, just note, my mic is really not great. So, yeah, the voice quality is going to sound pretty bad. But I added subtitles. The subtitles, beware, might be wrong. But don't worry, you've got the video. Just focus on the video. Try not to focus on what I'm saying. All right? Sweet. Let's make a new costume. And, of course, pull it soon. So now, this is for the costume I don't want Switch the color to a white, get rid of the outline, and set it to this, click on this, and, you know, make it to nothing. Then hold shift and stretch out. You might not be able to see it, but, you know, it's there. And some slight bit of randomness, because smoke is pretty random. Go control C and control V. So it's one of them. Now we've got two. And let's just trim this one just a little bit. And you change the color a little bit uh, down, so it'll be to 90. So it should be just a little bit darker. So now we want to go move flag clicked. Five. And when I'm start as a clone, sure. So we'll be working with clone sand. Now I'll do the switch costume to pitch random. Uh, we made about three costumes, so set the next number to three. Next thing we want to do is the ghost effect. To pick random and do this again and go uh, to this world. And it changes to 30 to 40. So you can customize the range after we've done the code to see how you like it for your game. So do you this? Change it to 85. Do a go to pick random. Pick random. Ah, not that one. And it changes to negative 100. Change this to 100. Change this to negative 100. So make a new sprite. Pull it. Oops, turn that right, question mark, for this part only. Set it to right to the ground point to two. Now I go over, change goes with it. By one, launch the size by two, two to four, yeah. And because, you know, smoke tends to go up because of gravity. So set this to one and pattern a if else. Turn right equals one. And turn one. Turn anti clockwise. Sorry, make the one again. Right side is like one. Wait, oops. Wait, pick random. Oops. Pick random. Maybe uh, you can change this well however you want. Right? Now, I'm going to come back to our main thing, but I'm going to back layer, right? Because, you know, and maybe you'd want to know the front layer. Hide. Oh, we're already did a hide look. There we go. And from here, go forever. Okay, photo myself. And wait about zero seconds and it's all the way. And you know what? I'm going to just set the size to 200%. All right. Now, what you'll need to do is move the backdrops and add in a darker color so we can... Yes, there we go. See that? Eight or two. There we go. I mean, to be honest, this looks better than what we had before. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what I need to do better, or suggest me a tutorial that I should do, because I promise you, because I'm a small creator, of course I'm going to be looking at the comment section. So, you know, it's just a video, and I will most likely make that video. Motherfucker.